I decided to do uh, get ready with me absolutely amazing is it the right thing to do I don't know I'm talking so much Donna close my eyes she's so elegant I look like I'm ready Hello beauties! We were parents of the year today, took them to the beach, swam, laughed, ate, cried, some were cranky and we decided that we deserve to have a little bit of a date night today. Just Gary and I, it's gonna be an early one because let's face it, we won't be able to stay past 9 o'clock. So. I decided to do a uh, get ready with me and to also just like catch up on life. Wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to Vanna for sponsoring this video. I will talk about them a little bit later. Now, let's put this together. Since we're kind of relocated to Miami and just being in the heat and having all this humidity happening to my hair, I try to work with it rather than against it and like try to avoid washing my hair every single day which is difficult but that is what always damaged my hair more than anything so trying to figure that out oh, the sliding oh much better i mean it's still there but we're gonna work with what we have okay i'm gonna wash my face I've been very good with sunscreen, so I have like three pounds of sunscreen on my face. So I need to take this one out. FYI, I showered. Just wanted to let you guys know I did shower. So, what's been new with me? As you guys know, one of my closest friends from Israel came to visit me in Miami and it's been actually absolutely amazing. It's kind of reminded me how much i'm thankful for friendships and how much i need to cherish them growing up i feel like my mother has been such a great example for me to see what friendship supposed to feel like from the, an early age i understood kind of the unity and power that women can have towards each other which i think that not a lot of us know about but anyways my girlfriend came here and it just really reminded me of how lucky i am that i cultivated those type of relationships in my life so i guess for me i was just very sentimental this weekend of just appreciating and looking around who surrounds me and how grateful i am for them um okay i'm gonna show you like honestly a quick little thing because i don't want to make it like a crazy makeup tutorial it's hot outside i'm freaking tired i just want to look cute so I'm gonna start with this at uh, your backstage. This is face and body primer. I have noticed that it helps to kind of make sure that whatever I put on my skin stays on. You'll be surprised, not an easy task in Miami right now with the moisture and humidity out there. And then we can right away move to the next thing. So for face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer oil free this is kind of like has a really nice way to create a beautiful looking skin but that's not like too covered up by the way i just got this this is a dior brush but i've been kind of liking how it distributes stuff so i'm here for it So, I just realized why am I standing in a dark ass room when I have a freaking window, a huge window that I can sit in front of and do my makeup like a normal person. This is a Benefit Gimme Brow. It's a Gimme Brow, but you see I used it so much that it literally is all gone, so I don't even know what it's called anymore. Mental health wise, I've been very good, I have to say. You know what, sometimes it's just a matter of changing your scenery that will change your mood. And I feel like I put in the work to figure out what was not working for me. And I'm, I'm getting much, much better. Basically, now that I feel like my mental health is getting better, I'm also way more excited to create content, which before was a very, a very much of a struggle for me, which was also a struggle for me because it comes to me so naturally. I'm so happy to do it. It's like such a light in my life, you know, to create content for you guys. But I got to a point where I just felt like I was really, really spent and I love my job. I take it seriously 
seriously and it's even weird to call it a job but it was a little bit challenging to figure out what's going on with me and also to just maintain like a normal relationship and flow in, in my personal life like in the house and kids and like with marriage and everything so I'm I feel like I'm kind of like in a good place now I shared some of this with you through stories um, and other stuff let me just do my eyebrows I have to concentrate but then I'm gonna get back to talking about it promise okay and then just gonna make sure that they're staying in place this is the brow setter from benefit as well so i feel like now that i'm kind of in a better place mentally i'm starting to first of all consuming information because i think one of the things that really messed me up was the fact that i kind of got to a point where nothing was interesting to me i'm always surrounded and we always have opportunities to engage with interesting people that you can learn from and especially like towards the end before we left i had such amazing opportunities and i was completely disengaged i did them but i was so not there mentally that kind of also made me even angrier because obviously it's something that i love to do and i just couldn't get myself to really care that's the thing i just started not caring and i think that when we came here i really gave myself the space and time and just allowed things to develop in their own pace so now i feel like i'm in a good place so now i'm very excited about a lot of things i find inspiration in a lot of things which is basically how i operate and how i create my content i create my content based on oh that's a look based on what interests me what i wish i knew so that's where i'm at it's been also really nice to just reconnect with the kids and gary and just like not being frustrated and angry which is nice you know it's nice when that happens and then ah a little bit here we have a new friend over here okay i've been also really not using too too much makeup over here i love using the charlotte tilbury bronzer also as my eyeshadow just like this really pretty natural situation and i just go around my eye and you know what today because my hair is a mess i'm gonna do a lip okay you want to see a trick this is my glow trick that's been just serving me in the past couple of weeks actually i just started doing it lately as you guys know i'm obsessed with the chanel transparent balm which is basically like the most beautiful natural highlighter so i apply it all the way here then i apply a little bit of my blush around it this is the adore vanish from hourglass and then i just mix it up it creates this really really pretty and really glowy finish cover girl cream fresh i really can use a bigger brush i don't know why i'm too lazy to look for one okay mascara the real magnet by benefit something that i must do before i apply mascara is to let it dry is it the right thing to do i don't know it's just they cling better you know especially with newer mascaras when i just open a new mascara oh my god i have to really dry up the solution a bit because otherwise it's too wet and it doesn't really catch or make the lashes as grand as i like them to be how did i already make a mess i just started lordy so when i was growing up my mother thought something was a little bit wrong with me but then she really encouraged it i was listening to like frank sinatra and eric clapton when i was like 10 11 12 i loved love jazz but i remember when i first heard eric clapton you look wonderful tonight i was like wow this is gonna be my first dance at my wedding that i'll have when i'm 50 years old because that's when i thought i'm gonna get married when i'm 50. and it wasn't because when i met gary and we planned a wedding i so didn't care about planning a wedding and i just wanted it kind of to get it over with because of that i completely forgot the promise i made myself about my first dance 
and we ended up choosing like a super basic although i love it's a beautiful song but aerosmith obviously i don't wanna close my eyes don't wanna fall asleep because i miss you babe. which kind of like kind of how i feel about gary but not the song that I was planning on. I told him already for our 10 year anniversary, we're gonna like do the wedding that we really want, which will be probably on the beach, bare feet, lots of music, drinks, and great food. And our song will not be that one actually. It's gonna be Adele covering The Cure. I will always love you. If you don't know this song, you have to go listen to it. The original is obviously amazing. That's one of my favorite songs. But then when I heard Adele cover that song, <sighs> I'm talking so much, man. Wow. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom in Radiant. I don't know why, this is how I like to apply my lipsticks. I like to pat them in to kind of warm them up and really integrate with my lips. I don't like that feeling that something is smeared, you know? Like something is kind of top of you. Charlotte Tilbury, the highlighter. I like to put it here in the corners. First, let's decide what we're wearing and then we can do the hair. I found her. I decided to go for a little bit of like Duchess Bridgeton slash flower child slash princess vibes. I just feel like I wanna wear something where it'd be like, is she royalty? So for hair, definitely want it up. So usually I'll go like this and I will like comb it down, which this type of hair gives you a longer face, this lower bun. So instead I'm gonna do the opposite. Usually people need to use like gel for this type of thing, but I have enough oil in my hair right now <laughs> to keep it very, very slick. Basically what you wanna do is, it's kind of a new version, very Gen Z, like bun situation. So we want to comb it up and then it lifts your face rather than pulling it down. But I'm still gonna do my bun half. Let's see if this is gonna work. I learned it from this one hairstylist I work with. So you make a knot and then you spin one side around and you need to pin it. You pin one, then you take the other one and twist it the other way and you pin that one. You see, this is uh, the actual bonus of having dirty hair. It just stays where you put it. Let me change into my dress. I'm not gonna change here because you will see me naked right here, so no. I'm probably gonna put some kind of sandal. Hmm. We'll decide in a second. I do want an accessory. So first I wanna say a huge thank you to Vanna for sponsoring this portion of the video. Ah, oh, look at this beauty. She's so elegant. So while I'm putting my piece, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Vanna. It's a woman's own designed and manufactured brand from LA. If I can describe the brand, it would be probably like sophisticated and minimalist. It has such a beautiful essence to it. And I feel like there's not a lot of brands out there that want to create unique, beautiful designs for affordable price, which is kind of the mission for Vanna and their designs. I was debating between two colors because I got this with the pearl white in it, but also have this one with the green, which I love, has a bit more of like a vintage vibe to it. And this is a piece that upgrades like every outfit where if you don't want to overdo with like all kinds of accessories, honestly, I just have my bracelets here and the watch and I kind of feel like my outfit is good to go. The design that I chose is the ombre design. And as mentioned, I also got it in the green face. So each collection has its own personality, but they're all inspired by the universe. So they all have really special, unique stones to them, kind of that connects to different aspects of the universe. Most of the designs are designed with natural stones and are very much one of a kind. So you won't see the same thing anywhere else. The reason why I really resonated with this collection it's inspired by the total solar eclipse, which is very magical, don't you think? Okay, let me now put on my outfit and show you the final look. I can't wait to show you how I style it with this watch too. Not tonight, but you see it. I gotta commit to one Valerian. You can't bounce around. 
Okay, so this is the dress. It has pockets. And look how beautifully this piece works with this outfit. Not so aggressive. It is functional, but also really elegant. If you guys are interested in this piece that I'm wearing or any of their other things, they have some beautiful collection. Another favorite of mine is the Luna one. It's beautiful. You guys can check out. I put the link in my description box. So now that I have everything looking royal and pretty, I need to sh choose the shoes. So we got this one this one or this one so let me start with this and this and narrow down okay i for sure don't like this one then let me try this one i don't love this one i think we're gonna go maybe for the more simpler ones i feel like i'm late okay i chose these not if I can get that far enough to show you. You need at least a man of like thick bands because it is a shorter cut of a dress. You don't want something to kind of cut you off. But I do want a little bit of a heel. And I think for that, I'm gonna go with my Bottega. It's a no fail, casual, can be kind of classy. I do have to fill it up a bit. So, put Gary's underwear in here, it's fine. Just has to be a bit more fluffy you know because realistically i only have a wallet and a lipstick in there okay my outfit for date night i'm really feeling this outfit i'm very happy with myself doesn't look like the kid exhausted me at the beach today i look like i'm ready for seven o'clock dinner and ice cream and in bed by nine love you